What's up everybody, this is Steve Strelacci, and today we are looking at this insane Firefly uh, Strat copy. I've had a very love-hate relationship with Firefly guitars. Some of them have been really great. I have a 338 that is one of my favorite guitars of all time. It's a $189 guitar that I actually take on pro gigs. This is the most recent one, and this is the Pure Series ST from Firefly, and you can get these at Guitars Garden. As I always do with these, I fully expect to hate them and I want almost want to hate them because they're so cheap but so good this is a $179 guitar and I made a short on this that kind of went pretty viral on YouTube it's got like over 130,000 views just going over some of the specs on it and for the price the specs you're getting are pretty unbelievable so you're getting stainless steel frets roasted maple neck locking tuners you're getting uh, this modern truss rod adjuster and this had some confusion on my short because everybody was like, oh, don't all guitars have a truss rod? Because everybody wants to be a know-it-all on the internet. Um, this is a modern style truss rod where basically you could take any rod that'll fit in here and you can actually turn it to adjust it um, this way instead of either having to unscrew the pick guard and go into the heel or have one on the headstock. So this is a very easy access, modern way of adjusting your truss rod. The pickups, obviously, Strat, Super Strat, Humbucker, single, single, standard wiring, all that stuff. And then on the back here, this is one of my favorite parts. This is a contoured heel back here. So when you're playing up the neck, there's actually a little indent here for your palm to rest on. So when you're playing up here, it's way more comfortable than having that um, sharp, box here that would typically be so you would expect guitars in this price range to have sharp frets and um, sharp fret edges there's nothing on this i mean listen i can't even find something on here if i tried but that comes with a caveat here because if you take a closer look there is a good bit of room between the fret and the edge of the fingerboard so i guess their way of um, I don't know if it's a cop-out or if it's smart that they leave a little bit of extra room on the inside of the fretboard so that like there's wood here where I'm touching that um, the fret doesn't reach the end of the fingerboard. This is a real bone nut. Where they're getting their bones from is up to you to joke around about. I have no idea. Um, it's a little high. It's not a problem high, but there's definitely some intonation issues when you're playing when you're playing chords and stuff. So I'll visit that nut and try to um, file it down just a touch. And other than that, it's a, I mean, you have a two point trim. I don't put the bar on because I'm gonna overuse it and annoy people, but it stays in tune and uh, the trim is really good. I don't see any need to replace that. Um, the only upgrading I would actually do to this is to file the nut. And then what I'm gonna do today is I'm going to install this Fishman Fluence entire set i have two options i could just drop this on and get the classic strat style thing with the three pickups it's got the push pulls in it um, for the different sounds or i can keep this pick card on here and use a fishman fluence humbucker and two fishman fluence single coils and just take all those electronics pop them into here and i also have the fishman fluence um classic humbucker so i'm basically i'm not going to promise anything now because i'm going to see if everything will fit um, i don't know if it's going to fit or not but hopefully it does and I also i'm going to put the fishman chargeable back plate so the fishman pickups are here courtesy of my friends at sweetwater and they're sponsoring this video and this upgrade video so i'm going to put the battery pack on the back here so you can just plug in USB C, charge up the batteries and um, yeah, we're gonna see how much of a big difference it makes. Let's hear the guitar as is. These are still the stock strings that came on it. Um, I haven't done anything to this guitar at all. The tones are from the Fender Tone Master Pro, and this is a deluxe reverb model. <laughs> drive here.
so that was just going through it clean and both uh clean and dirty they're not bad pickups they're just a little thin in my opinion hopefully the fluence uh gives me a little bit more variety and diversity when i'm if i'm gonna have a super strat i really need it to sound great in all positions and not super strat like think it sounds like a fine strat but you hear that Another caveat about playing a Strat, that is so loud. It is noise canceling in the fourth position and the bridge pickup, but every other position is super noisy. And I don't have a high amount of gain. I mean, that's just a Tube Screamer and a Prince of Tone pedal. We're basically just going to rip all that out, do some touching up on the guitar, and have a, hopefully, a professional level player when we're done. I'm going to go take this thing apart and uh, see in a little bit. All right, so since that was an epic fail trying to install these, I took them to my favorite shop. Division Street Guitars, Matt, save the day with a with a big install and figuring out how to do this. At, at first, I couldn't find it, and then I like the way we had it, the pickups weren't going to work together. Switch one of them. So we figured it out. It's now up and running. I'm going to go take it to the show now and see what happens. Audrey is shopping for my next guitar. Yes. So, today is the record-breaking day. No show has ever sold out. Two consecutive nights here at the Paramount. Look, that's our snow going. Um, we're at day two right now, and I wanted to give a huge shout-out to Division Street Guitars for getting these Fishman pickups installed in the Firefly. I started filming this video with the intent of them being drop-in replacements, but because the Firefly is built a little different, I uh, didn't exactly have luck with that. And instead of throwing the guitar out the window, I took it to them. They did a rush for me, and they got it done. It seemed like a tedious, tough project because of the way the Firefly is, and I kind of wanted to make my own customized thing here. But they nailed it, and uh, me and the boys went over there. We had a good time. And now today we're doing a VIP sound check. So we got a bunch of people that purchased extra VIP tickets, and we're going to do... A little sound check, couple songs for them, and I'm gonna use the Firefly so we can hear what it sounds like with the real band in our front of house mix, and it should be cool. I think this would be a good version of a demo for how these pickups are gonna sound. All right, so after I took it to that sound check, I had an awesome time. <clears throat> In the meantime, playing around with this, this is the new look. Um, I think it looks great with the black uncovered. I think that was a great, great decision there. So now we have a coil split bridge, and then we have the uh, the voice changing on the tone pot, and we're going to go through what these sound like in the studio. So I just played you that clip of me playing it on stage uh, from one of our sound checks, but now I want to just go through some of the studio sounds using the same exact Fender Tone Master Pro preset that you heard in the previous version. The only thing to do now is that I, I've got to change these the edges on this. This makes it feel cheap, in my opinion, is the how sharp this edge is. So I'm going to take uh, one of my files and I'm going to roll over this fingerboard. I've seen a couple of different methods here where they're even taking like a, like a socket wrench like I have a socket over here, like I'm looking for it, like I have one, like a socket, and they'll actually just compress the wood instead of actually filing it. So I want to do a little bit more research on that before I finish this thing up. But yeah, this is now a killer player. Let's plug it in and see what it sounds like. that voice changing to that more uh, hot rotted uh, strat sound much more output 
go to position four now, we can get that Lenny sound. Here's that with the hot routed sound. Position two, coil split. bridge humbucker full out let's kick on some drive shall we this is the same distortion from the uh, last video <laughs> Bridge pickup split. Also, note the lack of noise from having some gain on here. This is that fuzz tone that was giving us a lot of buzz before. So, that is how this cheap $179 guitar is absolutely killing your. Fender guitar. This thing sounds and plays incredible for the price. It cannot be beat. And now with a little modification, a little bit of an upgrade, this thing is an absolute professional level playing and sounding super strat. It stays in tune. I haven't tuned it since that day, <laughs> since uh, we were on stage with it that day. And it's still pretty much dead in tune with new strings. So, so yeah, if you made it this far in the video, ask any questions below and uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.